This woman's work. This woman's work. Black is beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back to Spice Plug. Today I'm sitting down with Nicole E. Banks painter from the Bronx um, we're gonna get to know her a little bit and figure out like what's the inspiration behind some of these amazing paintings that's sitting behind me right here so Nicole tell me a little bit about yourself a little bit about myself I'm yes. the most shy outgoing person that you can ever meet. what does that mean to be shy and outgoing like it's one or the other like let's go that's what I'm saying it's like I'm shy yet when I enter a room I can like interact with a lot of people and light it up however i just have this like element to me where i'm afraid of letting people know exactly who i am so i kind of hold back a little bit but you're an artist you're a painter so i feel like a lot of that shows through your work sometimes so well that's exactly why i had my exhibition in march called ras okay it was it was the first my exhibition first off to everybody as an artist and to who i am mm -hmm. it was called ras which was an acronym for rough and smooth uh, I felt like that was a perfect description to describe who I am, yeah. why I'm shy and outgoing. And then I also wanted to try a different take on art where using elements that can create texture. These okay. are two pieces here from it. Which one? This one here? Mm -hmm. So what is the, the name of this piece here? So this one is a self-portrait. It's Most of them from the um, exhibition was a self-portrait. Mm -hmm. This one channels my father's side. Um, he has his own contracting company. Ooh. And sometimes I work with him part time. And so to create the texture for my hair, I used some plaster. Okay. It jarred. I mixed it with some glue so that it can stick to the canvas. Okay. How do you, like, I know it takes a lot to go into, like, one's work how do you determine what kind of materials that you want to use well during that time period I had to do a lot of thinking mm -hmm. to figure out what exactly I wanted to do and um, I worked at an art gallery and there was this artist by the name of C. Rocco she used a lot of plasters as well and newspaper articles and she did a lot of like interaction with her art where she would put some stuff on take it off put okay. different things on so just incorporate a lot of other elements and i was besides for usual her. painting and like exactly. what are like the usual go-to when you're like at the art supply store and you're like i need to pick up a canvas or what style of painting is your go-to so the type of paint that i usually paint with is acrylic paint okay. and um that's because i haven't got the balls to paint with oil painting yet okay it's also expensive so i'm like when i get there i need to know what i'm doing exactly what's the process like when creating a new piece of work i feel like to explain it best i would say a diamond pressure gotcha. works best for me i like that yeah a diamond okay <laughs> so Perspective. if it's a commission piece i'm like running all around in my mind like the anxiety is building and it's just like the moment I'm sitting in front of the canvas, mm -hmm. it just gets really calm. But okay. it's like still pressure, and then it just right. builds up and builds up. And then I think at the end, I end up seeing something that's really great. Really. So I think that that's definitely big for me. Procrastination and pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't always work for everyone. So don't try it. But it works for Nicole. Yes. So that's shout out to you. What does art look like, smell like, and feel like to you? How are you able to describe that? Mm. So. Art looks like a mirror. Mm -hmm. Everyone can look at the same piece and get something different, and that's because it's mirroring your subconscious of how you feel. Mm -hmm. It's like when you're looking at a really pretty landscape mm -hmm. and you want to take a picture of it, and the picture can't capture it really. It's mm -hmm. because you have to just embrace that moment, For yourself, that yeah. connection, that energy that you get from it. Okay. Art is everywhere. Yeah. What does it feel like? Oh, I like that one. So, to me, art feels like when you wake up in Jamaica in the morning and you have no plans mm -hmm. and you walk outside and the sun hits you but the breeze is still cool mm -hmm. and it's just like are your parents Caribbean yeah okay <laughs> that is and if you haven't been so to mine. Jamaica you gotta go to Jamaica everybody you're here sponsoring you gonna sponsor trips because I'm sure we'd all like to go to Jamaica I'm sure you know artist struggle okay <laughs> sip this tea sip your tea okay um, so that's question. what it looks like that's what it feels like to me and what was the third one? What does it smell like? What does it smell like? Ooh. 
You know when you were a kid in preschool and they said, well, you oh, got the answer. it's art time and they brought out the fresh box of crayons mm -hmm. and it's just like so nostalgic, like, yes. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's like motivation. It's mm -hmm. like, all right, now this is, this is in my hands. I'm going to do and, and, you know, whatever I feel is going to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The word is nostalgic. That's what it nostalgic. smells like. Nostalgia. Fresh box of crayons. A fresh box of crayons. Melted in the sun. Melted in the sun. That, that too? When the crayons <laughs> melt? When you leave it in right the back Right in Jamaica. Right in Jamaica. <laughs> I feel that's what it smells I'm gonna like. I'm going to have to take a trip now back to Jamaica because you, you you're teasing teasing me with this. How many times? Three. Three mm -hmm. times a year? Minimum? Mm -hmm. uh, what future plans do you have as an artist? Like, did you ever have in mind owning your own art gallery? Or, like, just what's in the future for you being an artist? Well, my ends all go, mm -hmm. which is definitely going to happen. you got to speak it into existence. <laughs> I want to own my own facility, mm -hmm. right? I envision it to be something that's three floors. The first floor is like a little shop where you have like little art stuff here, mm -hmm. there. And the second floor can be like where I'm teaching classes, mm -hmm. maybe uh, art class on the weekdays for kids. And on the weekends, maybe I host paint and sit. So you want to full on be involved with this one? Full on be involved. Mm -hmm. I want to have like a a great exhibition place where I can reach out to artists all over New York and have them want to be a part of my exhibition. Can I please have myself featured here for this amount of time? And it's really cool. People want to come. I want it to be interactive. And that's why I want three floors three so that floors, yeah. I can give myself room to switch it up on what I'm doing. I think that's a beautiful idea. And as far as locations, where do would you think Preferably about? the Bronx. But really? Yeah. Really? The Bronx is on the rise, Not actually. the city, being that there's more like traffic going back in the city. You That's really the point. Just wanna... I want to bring traffic to the I Bronx. I love that. I love that. You wanna bring... I don't want any traffic in the Bronx, but if it's creative traffic, then I don't mind. That's, that's really to say. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind creative traffic. I don't mind creative traffic. I don't want to sit on the highway all day, but... but and there's so many in Manhattan. There's so many in Brooklyn. There's so that's many true. in Harlem. How many are in the Bronx? Right. The one that you just told us about here today. Exactly. I mean, that we know of so far. Well, that's so. a museum. Mine will be a little different. It yeah. won't be a museum. Your, yours will be like the full-on experience. Like. Exactly. Exhibition gallery type thing. Like mm -hmm. studio. I love that idea. So, thank you so much for coming in and sitting down with us today. Um, one more time, let everyone at home know where they can contact you if they wanted to send requests for uh, custom paintings or pieces. Instagram, Memoirs of a Million, that's M-E-M-O-I-R-S-O-F-M-I-L-L-I-O-N. Guys, this is Nicole E. Banks and Rebel Spice with Spice Plug, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. This woman's work, this woman's world Oh, it's hard on the lane Now it's part and soul